Louis King inked a new deal with the Los Angeles Lakers. Although the specifics of this agreement are yet unknown, I would infer that it is an Exhibit 10 contract. In essence, such a contract would enable the Lakers to hold onto Louis King's rights to sign him as a member of their G League team. In addition, he would receive additional compensation for being on this Exhibit 10 contract. Louis King is a man with extensive G League basketball experience. He is a wing player with a respectable three-point shooting percentage. He had, after all, spent a few years playing in the G League. Throughout all those seasons, he has attempted more than five three-pointers per game and has made more than 38% of them. He is a valuable asset on the wing because of his excellent defense. Thus, as a 3 and D player, you might see him doing some great things on the offensive and defensive ends of the court if you watch any South Bay Lakers games. Regretfully, it doesn't appear that he will be a member of the Lakers' starting lineup this coming season. First of all, they just have so much depth, and secondly, given the Lakers' current situation, it wouldn't really make sense for them to take a chance on a player who hasn't played a lot of NBA games and has spent the majority of his career in the G League. The Lakers have a really deep roster, in my opinion. They have reliable, capable wing players, and Lewis King might eventually be a Lakers' go-to player. Additionally, it's always a good idea to take the initiative and give players in the G League opportunities if you believe they could eventually become valuable assets to your team. It is something that each and every NBA team must do. Essentially, the Lakers are simply carrying out their collective due diligence by making sure that no boxes are left unchecked. In summary, I believe this is a wise decision. Teams frequently execute similar actions, signing players to training camp contracts before waiving them and adding them to their G League squad. Lewis King will most likely be playing hoops there in the future season. Lewis King was most likely signed by the Lakers to an Exhibit 10 deal, as I previously stated, rather than to a regular roster berth. Having said that, there is still a position on the roster that is available for the Lakers to fill. My prediction is that they will hold off until players begin to show signs of being buyout candidates, possibly around the trade deadline, when teams start to upgrade their rosters. I believe the Lakers will stamp hat for the time being, but that's where I'd expect them to perhaps become involved in the competition for a 15th roster slot. They enter the season with a strong and deep roster, so adding a 15th player isn't really necessary at this time, the Lakers would likely do so later on.